Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to ask the users to provide some some value for example uh, test set points for some variables like temperature, desired temperature or desired pressure and so on and so forth using some dialog boxes. So for that reason I'm going to create a, a new project. I call it numpad 02. You can use whatever name that you want and I'm going to use to create a standard project. As the programming language, by default I use the CFC, but since I'm not going to do any kind of programming here, that's indeed uh, not important at all. Here I have my project, where I can declare the variables and develop the code if I want. Uh, I start by adding a visualization to my project, keep the name as is, and here I go. I also declare a variable here in my uh, program. I call it set point temp of type integer with the initial value of zero. Now it's alright. Then in my visualization, I can have a label here to provide some explanation. Please set the desired temperature by clicking in the or yeah, clicking on the box. And here we go, here we have the box below. Here we have the label and I would like to use a text field underneath here. For that, uh, as the text, I use the percentage i to refer to some integer variable and cells use if I didn't write it in the wrong way. As the variable, text variable, I set it here. So the variable in which I'm going to use within my text field is set point temp, it's integer variable. And now what I want to, to have is whenever I click here, I want to give the user the opportunity to, to provide me the value, some integer value of course. Uh, let me just set the online mode into simulation. So keep in mind that now if I don't do anything, if I just log in and and run, I will not be able to to set the variable here. You, you see that I, I if I click here in the box, I'm not able to change the value. Of course, I can force the value here, some some value, and then F7, Alt F7, and in the visualization it will op uh, appear as well. But I'm not able to do it through here. So how can I do it? Uh, if we select this uh, element here and go to the input configuration, and uh, click in the unmask click. One way to do is to choose the right uh, variable option here. Add it to to this element. And here we need we can determine in it the input type. Clicking on here, we have these options: default, text input, text input with limits, uh, numpad, keypad, and numpad extended. The first choice is to keep the default. So in this case we can uh, write into the output variable of the text field which is indeed the, the desired temperature. Here we can set some minimum value, maximum value and we, we can have a dialogue title, sometimes it will be shown. 
and also we have the option of using this password field so let's leave all of them in the default mode and try to log in again and this time if I click here you see that the field the text field uh, becomes editable and I can provide some value here like 30 and pressing on the enter in my keyboard I, I see the value here so let's try to provide 25.6 and click on enter nothing happens because this is not an integer value and the system doesn't accept it and if I click somewhere outside which is not possible I still need to correct this value and provide some integer value I can provide minus 20 for example which is acceptable so you see how the how it works in this way now let's go and have a look on other properties I can provide some minimum value here let's say 10 some maximum value 90 and try again so the value should be between 10 and 90 and if you run it here you see that again I can provide some value let's try to provide 5 it is not in the range so it's not acceptable 500 is not in the range as well but 50 is in the range so the system accepts and then our variable has got the value of 50 one more property that we can check here is to use this password field and now if we try to run it again the field is editable but whatever value I provide from the keyboard you will see these star signs instead however in this case if I provide 25 which is not visible for you for now and press enter afterwards it will become visible so this is, this would be used in the case when you want to ask for the password of a uh, user for example and then afterwards you for sure you don't show the password uh, it wouldn't be like the case in which I have here so that's what we have uh, with, with that kind of input the next thing that we can see here is to use a keypad or a numpad let's start with numpad now if uh, we log in again and run when I click here you will see this numpad appearing here in this case I can provide some values like 54 and keep in mind that it's we, we still have the password field checked that's why you don't see any value here one more thing here is that now we don't have access to to changing the values through the keyboard in it so if I press on any key in my keyboard uh, I pressed on F1 in it, sorry for that I'll not be able to change the, the value here anymore alright clicking on OK again we see 54 here let us try some other options if I choose from here a keypad and let's remove this password field and here we can also provide some text please provide an integer value and if again we log in and run the code clicking here you see that we have the the keypad where we have the title for it we see the minimum value maximum value and we should provide some integer value here 
So if I press on shift, we will see the numerical values here, something like 12. And if I write, if I provide some value which is not indeed uh, an integer value, and click on OK, nothing will happen. Now 12 is acceptable and clicking on the OK will uh, set the value of the variable to 12. Uh, let me see if I want to share something more with you. Alright, so we, we could also set this password field for this. And another thing that we have here is the extended numpad. Let's have a look at it as well. In this case, we will have a numpad, which is the extended version of the simple numpad. And again, we have the title here, yeah? So, uh, we have the option of choosing between decimal and hexadecimal. We can have A1, for example, which is equal to decimal of 161, and it's not acceptable because it's over the maximum value. However, if I provide 1a in the form of uh, hexadecimal and it's equal to 26 decimal and it will be accepted and displayed here. Alright, so this is one way indeed of asking the user to provide the, uh, the input value for us, some set point, and it was uh, using the <laughs> input configuration on mouse click and write a variable. There are some other ways of doing this. Maybe in some other video I will show you how to do it using those ways. But for this video I guess it's uh, all. And I would like to thank you for watching and as always see you next time.